just makes me so angry. <laughs> Scary bug. everybody and welcome back to another video. I was requested to do a weekly vlog so I'm going to try my best to do a weekly vlog this week. We have actually got a couple of plans which will kind of pan out as you see this vlog I suppose. Today is Monday and I've just sent off Freya with hubby on the school run. Eva and Elsa and I are going on a dog walk with a friend who lives around the corner. Very excited, the girls are very excited because she's going to be taking, bringing her dog along and obviously my girls love dogs so we're, we're just excited, we're just doing like a lap around the block, we're going to be very careful with social distancing and all of that stuff that we have to be careful of now. That was so lovely to go for a walk with my friend and her dog. Eva was absolutely living her best life. Um, it was really nice to just get out. We actually went much further than we thought we would and ended up on like, in a local park on the field, which was really lovely. Um, and we just chatted, got attacked by a wasp at one point, but both of us forgot to bring water. The kids were quite thirsty and we, all, we both felt really guilty. The girls are now watching Pan, I think, on Netflix and yeah, gonna have some lunch and wait for Freya to come home, I suppose. We actually haven't done any homeschool today, so I need to... The girls have done some reading eggs and that's been about it, so... And Hubby and I have a Caesar salad with some chicken, but we've actually lost him for probably the evening because he's watching the yearly what's it called announcement video thing so it happens every june and we lose him for a couple of hours so i'm going to take it to him um so that he doesn't get disturbed he is a very big apple supporter so yeah i don't think i filmed the kiddies today so i might just go and show you the kids to show you that they're actually alive should you be on your ipads while you're meant to be eating oh so you don't know that you've eaten anything eva has decided to wear her school uniform this afternoon it's cosy, is it? It's your summer, dr summer dress, isn't it? It's scratching me. Then why are you wearing it? Because I love it. Mm. You miss school? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's now Tuesday. We've decided that Elsa is going to go back to school next week, so I have made the decision to not do any homeschool this week. So we're just going to enjoy like family time. The weather is beautiful today. We have our guttering being repaired so we can't go out anywhere. We can't go for a walk or anything because we need to be at home for the repair people. I have spent some time with, on FaceTime with my mum this morning. We are all actually going over there tomorrow. And I might just put some little clips of that in this vlog but keep it as a separate vlog as well because it's a day that I want to document fully separately. So yeah, very excited to see her. Freya is going to stay off tomorrow to limit like any fresh germs and things. Hubby's just lawn mowed the front garden. Yep, yeah, lawn mowed the front garden, mulched it, whatever that means. Mulch, mulch, mulched. mulch. Mulched. I think that means you cut it and you leave the grass trimmings on the grass. So, into fine pieces, yeah. Into fine pieces. There you go, I was listening. Today I am baking cookie bars to take with us to my mum's tomorrow. I'm also going to bake dog treats for my mum's dog. Yeah. We're making dog treats for daddy's house. I have mustard up roast banana. Mm. I like banana when it's not fast. I like banana sweat. Fine, I like bananas um, with little pieces, you know, you cut and then syrup on top. Ooh, or like um, maple syrup. Wait, I'll have a look. On top. You like, is it? Yeah. I'm going to show them if they want to have a look. Oh, that's gross. <laughs> is that as you? Yeah. I know, it's just banana. Just banana How are you doing? I want to take a tennis go to the thing. Ooh. Are you alright, baby boy? Sorry. You don't look very happy. You can feel him. Oh, look at him. 
so the cat has had a swollen face for a couple of days now and it hasn't gone down so we're just going to take him to the vets we've got an appointment for 11:50. what i have to do is phone them when we get there and then they um come and get him basically which is very odd i don't like the idea of that at all but he's actually been really good billy normally like really meows in the cat carrier this is the first time Jake's been in it, so it's a new experience. But we've got nine minutes to get there, so we need to get oh, on our way. Jake. You're upset. He'll be fine. I reckon he's just been stung by something. Elsa, what happened to Jake? He's dead. He's dead. <laughs> he had to go to the vet. Yeah, he didn't go there. Can you remember what I said and happened? What has he had? Why is he tired? Because he's had an extra and stuff like that. Antibiotic. An antibiotic. So Jakey has got in a bit of a fight, apparently, and the inside he's got a cut on the inside of his cheek and also he, part of his gum has ripped up, which caused a bit of an abscess. So he has had some painkillers with an injection and antibiotics, which should be rapidly acting within 48 hours if it doesn't get better he said that it might need a tooth extraction which is not good news um but the other night a couple of nights ago i heard this horrific screeching in the back garden and the next day was when uh, uh, jake had his puffy cheek so i reckon it was then that it happened but he's still eating and stuff so he should be okay he's he's doing well we're playing Fortnite. <laughs> <laughs> eva and i are playing a bit of Fortnite, and i've just had our online zoom meeting with freya's new head of year really really useful information i did lots of notes i think i've got like three a4 pages of notes from exactly what he was saying. So yeah, that was good. I was really nervous, but actually, I did actually end up the asking two questions. Now. Very the proud of myself. Now. We are actually at my mum's house. I haven't seen my mum and my granddad. Well, I haven't seen my granddad for 128 days and my mum 102 days. So we have come here for a socially distanced visit. We are in the garden and we have to be super, super careful because my mum is very high risk because of her kidney transplant. So she's actually measured, measured out where we can be to make sure she's safe, we're safe, you know. Hello, Millie. Hello, Millie. So we've had a really busy day, have actually filmed a totally full video from today's part of this week because I wanted to keep it se separate so I've only put in a couple of clips for it. So we were in my mum's garden all day long and it was hot. I think I've got a little bit burnt on my shoulders which isn't good. But yeah, lovely, lovely time seeing my mum. I'm really glad we've done it and it just feels weird not to like give her a cuddle and say goodbye and things. And I think the girls are really like desperate to spend some more time with her and for all this lockdown stuff it's really difficult isn't it for everybody so emotional day good morning everybody it is bright and early it's 10 past 8 Freya is off to school in a little while with hubby hubby has just put out the paddling pool today so we can have a nice garden day hopefully because I think it's meant to be really stormy tomorrow and Saturday first things first though I'm going to put on my rubber gloves and I've got to do poo patrol because we have quite a lot of foxes that come into the garden and do their business it's so annoying isn't it we don't even have a dog yet I'm clearing up crap every day it's not nice anyway that is my task for this morning and also last year at some point I lost my picnic blanket and we literally could not find it anywhere search the house top and bottom we searched the car could not find this picnic blanket so we bought a new one which is actually bigger than the other one that we had a couple of days ago i think earlier on this week hubby actually found it when he was like cleaning out the car and whatever he was doing he lifted up you know where you keep your sp spare wheel underneath that and there was the picnic blanket <laughs> so we've now got two which is brilliant but i'm going to put out the bigger one today because the other one i think we're going to just leave in the car just in case we ever need it um i think now that we know it's there we we'll, we can use it when we go for walks and things like that can't we mm -hmm. <laughs> just disappeared 
What have you got? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, 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 no. It is currently 30 degrees. I'm literally melting. It's so, so hot. I really love it. Being hot, it's actually a little bit too hot if I'm honest and that is weird coming from me. We have had a really, really lovely day. I haven't filmed much at all, which is fine. Friends have just gone, they bought their dog, so Eva was living her best life. I think hubby has just ordered a McDonald's to be delivered with Uber Eats, so hopefully that will arrive soon. I don't need to worry about doing dinner so I can sit down and do a little bit of work because I've been out in the garden all day long. Um, my ends of my hair are like really dry today. I don't really know why. Um, so I think I'm going to give that a trim, maybe tomorrow. Hi monkey. How you been? You haven't been on my channel for this week, I don't think. Can I do this? Yes, yes! These two, they're having some iPad time, aren't you? Is this what you'd like to be a normal person? I love you. I am 120% going to get interrupted by the kids because it's bedtime. But I've just been looking at the news, which I don't normally do. Um, but there was like a news report about Bournemouth beaches and there's been an incident and whatever else. I saw the pictures of all these thousands of people crammed onto this beach and it just infuriates me so much. I mean, I know I've seen my family and I know I've, we've had some people over to our house and stuff like that, but we've been so careful with all of that, like disinfecting and sanitizing and staying our distance from people. Even when we're out, we're staying away from people. And I just don't understand what goes on in people's minds. Yes, it's a wonderful week right now with the weather, but surely you would step onto this beach, see that it's absolutely packed with people and realise that we're in a pandemic that is killing hundreds of thousands of people and go, hmm, don't think I should be here, I think I need to go back home or I need to go to some quiet woods somewhere. I don't understand, <laughs> it's really made me angry. It just makes me so angry, sorry. <laughs> I'm angry. Anyway, bedtime. Good morning, um, it is Friday now so it's the last part of the weekly vlog and we have decided to come strawberry picking with Eva and Elsa, Freya is at school um, and we have arrived super early, it's like 15 minutes before it opens, it looks like people are already Oh, picking which is good three. there's three people here last time we came there was like five or six already wasn't there and then like a huge queue within like five minutes but it's been open for a little while and... ah! scary bug <laughs> <laughs> um so yeah we're gonna come and do some strawberry picking which we're very excited about because we're running out of strawberries at home and it's a good experience as well and i think they've got their raspberries open too Here's my raspberries for you. Thank you. We finished up at the strawberry picking, which was nice. We got some strawberries, raspberries, and we even bought some cherries. They had some cherries made up. Um, and now we're coming in to the come and feed the ducks. We've got seeds. We bought some seeds, proper bird seeds. They're not too impressed, but the ducks definitely prefer. Well, I reckon they prefer the bread. It's like having a McDonald's. Why would you why would you have a salad if you can have a McDonald's? I understand, but I think the other day when we came late to the day, they were Yeah, they were already full when we came with the seeds the last time.
home and now it is so so hot i am doing some pancakes for lunch although technically it's my breakfast too and um, the girls have also got a virtual sleepover with their nanny later nanny and uncle so that'd be nice for them i also woke up many times again last night she's been waking up pretty much every night whilst it's been really hot I've even removed her duvet from her duvet cover so I don't really know what else I can do. We have windows open and fan on so I don't know but she keeps waking up and it's it's exhausting me basically. So I don't know how she's going to be later on this evening when it's time for the virtual sleepover. But we'll soon find out I suppose. Oh, cheeky. What are you doing? What are you doing? Open it. Open it. <laughs> Open it. Open it. Mummy has to do this because it stops out quite, quite easily. On the edge and on top. Eva's feeling very tired because her little sister keeps waking her up. Just like she keeps waking me up. Mm -hmm. You're feeling a bit tired and a bit quiet today. A bit more. A little bit more. What have you got? Uh, so this is Jakey and as you may have been aware this week he has had a swollen cheek and he's actually laying on it at the moment but he is pretty much back to normal which is such good news. Such good news isn't it? You don't like being stroked do you? in editing the weekly vlog this video and I've just said to hubby we've actually had such a lovely week like you sometimes forget when you just live life like what happens and I really am grateful for having these vlogs this YouTube channel and generally just documenting I think even if I didn't have a YouTube channel I think I would continue to document my life and create videos that we could store somewhere because they're memories aren't they and they're, they're really special and it's just nice I feel very grateful um hubby's currently cooking a roast dinner for us although we've only got like an hour and a half before the virtual sleepover begins and we were meant to be doing pizza so hopefully nanny won't be angry enough that we're having a roast dinner separately because we've got a big like roast chicken like the whole chicken that we need to cook um because it goes out of date today and chicken's one of those dodgy meats isn't it anyway I'm gonna carry on editing this video um, I'll probably end it here. I might put some clips in for the virtual sleepover, but I don't think I'm going to talk to you anymore. So thank you so, so much if you're here to the end and you've seen this video to its full. I just feel very grateful this week. The weather helps, definitely. Elsa? Elsa? Yeah? Aren't you meant to be in the virtual sleepover? Why are you tired? I woke up tonight. You woke up every night for about a week, haven't Sorry, you? Sorry, I'm hiccuping. Mm -hmm. Are you excited to go back to school on Monday? Sorry, I need to have to go and do the night. Are you looking forward to going back to school on Monday? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. You've got a new teacher, haven't you? Yeah. And a new classroom. And I can't believe that. You can't believe it. There's going to be lots of music. Uh, and there's lots of... Here we go. Good night. No, no! I'm blowing. Are you nervous about anything going back to school? What are you nervous about? I'm nervous it hurt me. Hurt you? No one's going to hurt you, are they? Okay. We have some the front page, look. It's the front page. What are you two doing? <laughs> what? What? What are you doing? <laughs> Are you giving me a nose job? Ow! <laughs> <laughs>
I can get it out, it's okay. Look at mommy again. <laughs> Look at mommy. <laughs> this is my proper cat gallery. My dog is going to get you. Ready? Are you ready? Ah! Ow! Congratulations!